Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthew, and Mary Tyler Moore. Rob, the script looks real good. Why don't we turn it in? I don't know. I'm a little worried about the Tarzan sketch. Oh, come on. You know, Alan, anything for a laugh. I don't think he'll go in the water. Where else is he going to fight an octopus? That's why he won't go in the water. <laughs> yeah, I guess his toupee might fall off, too, and I would flip him. <laughs> the world is not ready for a ball, Tarzan. Hi, gang. Sorry I'm late. How can you take so long at lunch when you don't eat anything? All right. You're going to be that way. I'm not going to tell you who I met at lunch. Who'd you meet at lunch? Paul Tinkleman. <laughs> who? I guess you didn't meet him. <laughs> No, uh, I met a very dear friend of yours, Rob. Who? Male or female? Male. Very, very male. Very, very male, and he's married. Yeah, how'd you know he was married? Because if he was very, very male and very single, you'd still be eating lunch. <laughs> hey, Rob, I'll give you a little hint. Boom! You had lunch with a cannon. <laughs> boom, boom! Two cannons. <laughs> Boom, boom. She just said that. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, Bailey? Right! Boom, boom, Bailey, the prize fighter. Do you know him? Yeah. Hey, that guy is a great middleweight. Yeah, well, he sends his very best regards, Rob, and a uppercut and a right hook. <laughs> That's boom, boom, all right. How is he anyway? Like he said, married. <laughs> yeah, I tell you something, that boom, boom, Bailey is a great little fighter. I saw him hit a guy once so hard, he knocked him right on the ring. That is nothing. I saw him fight once, he nearly killed the guy. No kidding. Who? Me. <laughs> Toughest fight of my career. You had a career? Yeah. Everybody in the army had to fight three fights. Yeah, that's right. The Germans, the Japanese, and the Italians. <laughs> no, it was part of the physical training. Yeah, but how did you get into the ring with Boom Boom Bailey? Cautiously. <laughs> no, I, was, I wasn't bad. I had a nickname. Pitter Patter Petri. <laughs> Pitter Patter Petri? You sound so tough. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I wasn't bad. The nickname is from footwork. You know, Pitter Patter, Pitter Patter, okay. Pitter Patter. Oh, come on. You mean to say the Pitter Patter fought Boom Boom and didn't go bye bye? <laughs> I just saw the guy. He's got an arm like a leg of lamb. So what? Huh? He's got an arm like mashed potatoes. A perfect match. <laughs> now, come on, Rob. What was it? A, a sketch in a show or something? So, this was a real fight in a ring with hitting and hurting everything. <laughs> My last fight was supposed to have been with Billy Vogel. Billy Vogel? Are we supposed to know him? No, he was just a guy in the outfit. He and I were fighting for the middleweight championship of special services. And the first two rounds of the fight were just about even, so that third round, I can remember we both came out of there like a couple of tigers. I know you can do it. Well, you know, you had the mouth pace, the mouth pace. Yeah, the boy, yeah. Oh, I think it was a drop. They just gave it to me because I sweat more. Are you kidding? They gave it to you because you hit them more. You're a real credit to the fight game, Rob. And you're a real credit to special services, too. You know, just because we're the entertainment division doesn't mean that we ain't tough. Listen, let me give you a little help here. Okay. I those ropes they can. Well, I never... I never would have made it without you. Oh, are you my manager, Sal. Are you kidding? Huh? You were great in there. The only thing I'm sorry is that Laura couldn't have seen it. Ah, uh, she's not a fight fan. Huh? Doggone, I wish she could have been here for this. Oh, for your moment of glory, huh, yeah. pal? Yeah. Well, you know, I hate to brag. Yeah, let me get the like, Everything gloves. was working okay. Yeah. Everything was working today like it never has before. The footwork and the timing. You know? I want to tell you something, that Laura missed something beautiful tonight. Yeah. How come she's so down on fights? Oh, you know how a girl gets things something stuck in her mind. She keeps saying she didn't want to see me, you know, beaten to death. Well, she just doesn't know how good you are. Yeah. Gee, you know, it was my last fight. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, you know, it makes me kind of sad, so. Uh, kind of hate to hang up the old gloves. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> but that's the way it goes, champ. You beat them all. Yeah. All three of them. <laughs> 
Come on, let's see it for old time's sake once more. Move it around in there okay, for me, huh? buddy. Uh, a bit of powder in there? Beautiful, Rob. <laughs> hey. hey, I gotta go see Laura at the PX. I'll see you later, huh? Okay, Rob. So long, buddy. Could have been one of the big ones. <laughs> what do you say, Sally? Hey, hiya, Bernie. Hey, your boy looked pretty good in there. What is with that pretty good? He looked great. Well, great is a pretty strong word to use about a guy from special services. What can I tell you, Bernie? He's the champ. Leave his <laughs> face it. It don't take no Hercules to beat a piano player, a Irish tenor, and a female impersonator. <laughs> Look, Bernie, piano players don't come any tougher than Billy Vogel. Remember that. <laughs> Maybe so. But there ain't a special service guy in the world can stand up against the motor pool guy, including your champ. I'll ignore that remark based on the grounds that your motor pool guys ain't too heavy in the intellect department. <laughs> I'm just saying that any fighter we got can take any fighter you got. You are perhaps forgetting uh, Pitta Pata Pepe? Oh, come on, Sally. <laughs> Our champ Boom Belly can take him and a piano player at the same time. Are you kidding? Pitta Pata could turn Boom Boom into a beanbag. <laughs> talk, talk, talk. That's all you guys from special services do is talk. How's this for talk? I got 20 that says my boy can take your boy. Where? To the senior prom? <laughs> You're steaming me, Bernie. If I didn't have to save these two hands for the typewriter, I'd dump you right now. Oh, cut it out, Sally. Oh. <laughs> You're serious? 20 bucks. <laughs> Did I say 20? Let's make it 40. Make it 50 and you got a bet. You got it. Put it right there. Now I'm gonna go break the news to Rob. Why? Let him read it in the obituary. <laughs> You're beautiful, Bernie. You're dirty. <laughs> Laura? Oh, Rob. You're all right? All right. You are looking at the middleweight champion of special service. Yay. You would have been a lot more enthusiastic, honey, if you would have seen me there today. Oh, boy. everything was right. I just kept popping and popping up, keeping it back, 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 back. Rob, it's just so funny okay. looking. Well, you should have seen me there. I'm glad I didn't. Rob, will you promise me something? Anything, honey. Promise me you won't fight anymore. Okay, I promise. Besides, nobody left to fight. I have ravaged the countryside. Hi, Rob. <laughs> Laura, want oh, something? Hi, Norma. Yeah, I, the usual, I guess. Fine, come right here. Uh, honey, I got a pass for Sunday. How about a picnic? Just you and me, some potato salad, a couple of dead chickens. Oh, Rob, I'd love it. Oh. <laughs> well, that was fast. Champ always gets fast service. This is on the house. Well, thank you, Norma. Okay. You seem to some advantage to being the champ. <laughs> Here's the picnic. <laughs> okay. Sal, it's my beer. No beer for you, Peter Potter. You're in training. <laughs> I just finished my last fight an hour ago, Sal. Uh-uh. What do you mean? Uh-uh. I mean, I just set the fight of the century. The champ of the motor pool versus the champ of special services. Rob, uh, what's he talking about? So, what are you talking about? It's what you wanted, Rob. Now you won't have to hang up the old gloves after all. You didn't want to hang up your gloves? <clears throat> well, just before I told you I would. You told her you would? Well, after I, I said I didn't want to. <laughs> but, Rob, it's all set. You're going to fight Boom Boom Bailey this Sunday. Guys have got a lot of money bet on it. Oh, well, Saul, he can't. Why not? Well, Rob uh, promised to take me on a picnic Sunday. Well, he can't take you on a picnic this Sunday. He's going to be fighting. What are you doing Sunday, Rob? Rob? Champ? Darling. Well, I'm going uh, on, on a picnic. Or I'm going to fight. <laughs> Which? Well, I, whatever I decide, I want to be fighting with somebody. I can see that. Look, Rob, it's only one more fight, and it's for the honor of special services. That's all I'd like to. But I promised. Have Laura bring some sandwiches to the gym. Look, Rob, <laughs> boy, if you don't fight, they're going to say you're a coward. And if you're the best in special services and you're a coward, that makes the rest of us cowards. Now, what's it going to be, champ? What should I do, honey? Well, just do whatever you think is right. What's it gonna be, champ? This is like a bad B movie. I don't want to let my buddies down, and I, I promised my girlfriend. Yeah. Saul, a promise is a promise. That's final? Saul, I can't. I promised. There's the rest of your beer. 
You don't have to be in shape to go on a picnic. <laughs> don't you worry, Rob. Your friends will understand. Oh, sure. That's what they said to Benedict Arnold. <laughs> I really wanted to fight, but I couldn't break my word to Laura. Boy, it looks like Laura was wearing the pants in the family before there was any family to wear pants in. <laughs> All right, so you went on the picnic and you left Sal to fight the fight for you. Yeah, Rob fought the fight, Laura left him, and Rob married somebody else. <laughs> Will you shut up, please, and come sit over here, let him tell his own story? Well, Sally, you know something? You're too good a nag to be single. <laughs> Is that a compliment? I hope not. Oh, I get it. Huh, get on with the patter, Peter. <laughs> well, anyway, the word got out that I wasn't going to fight, and a few guys in my outfit weren't too happy about that. That's it for this ad. Okay, let's go. Petra, you can't carry the equipment. Again? Hey, hello, champ. Hi. Listen, it's very sunny today, so when you go out, don't be afraid, you hear? It's only your shadow. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> Of Boom Boom Bailey. You think I'm afraid just because of Laura? <laughs> I can take him with one hand. Sergeant Petri? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> In fact, quite a salute there, Petri. Yes, sir. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Back in good shape. Now, Petri. I'm not the type of officer to waste words. I'm going to level with you. I hear you're a coward. <laughs> just, just leveling, sir. As you know, Sergeant, one rotten coward can spoil the whole barrel. Well, sir, I don't want to spoil your barrel. I'm not, I'm not a coward. I want to believe that, Petri, but the people out there don't want to believe it. Uh, where, sir? The rest of the camp, Petri. They think the entertainment outfit has got it soft. They don't realize it's just as hard to master a good soft shoe as it is to blow up a tank. Uh, yes, sir. And when they call you coward, Petri, they're calling us all cowards. Yes, sir. But you could change all that, Petri, by fighting Boom Boom Belly. And you could beat him, boy. I know you could. I've seen you in that ring, fella. You really move in there. You've got the best footwork I've ever seen. Well. And I know good footwork when I see it, Petri. In civilian life, I was a choreographer. <laughs> Did you ever see a show called Flashing Feet? Uh, no, I guess I missed that, sir. Well, we did fold out of town. We didn't quite make it Broadway. We folded in South Philly, but I created this one great dance number, the Dance of the Tambourines. That's beside the point, though. <laughs> Sir, I, I think I know what you're driving at, and I just can't, my girl. I promised her I'd stop fighting. Petri! I can't order you to fight. However. However, uh, sir. A rather significant however, Petri. Uh, extra duty, sir? Among other things. But I can even be more creative than that. Uh, uh, Captain, in civilian life, would, would they call that blackmail? Damn, I... <laughs> Don't ever use that word in my presence. I'm sorry, sir, I misunderstood. Oh, you understood. Just don't use that word. <laughs> now, what's it to be, Petri? We need a volunteer to fight. Boom, boom, Bailey. May I do it, sir? <laughs> Good boy, Petri. Laura, <laughs> you have to understand, I cannot disobey a direct order. Oh, it wasn't a direct order. No, it wasn't. It was a direct threat. So I don't have any choice, honey. I promise I will not get hurt. Like you promised you wouldn't fight? I promise I won't get hurt. Wonderful, Rob. So then when you're lying there on the canvas, all broken and bleeding, I'll have the huge satisfaction of saying, Rob, you broke your promise again. <laughs> First place, I'm not going to be on any canvas. No, oh, no. Boom Boom Bailey sounds a lot tougher than Peter Patter Petri. He's not that tough. He got that nickname Boom Boom because he was in the field artillery and he had to get transferred because he couldn't stand the noise. Well, Rob, I couldn't stand the noise of your face being broken. Honey, you ought to be there. You could, you, you could be my inspiration. Oh, Rob, I started out inspiring a guy who wanted to be a writer, a nice, warm, gentle man who liked 
poetry and cowboy movies. I just don't think I'd be very good at inspiring you to clobber someone. How you can be my Lily Palmer? You what? Didn't you see the movie Body and Soul? No, I don't like fight movies either. Well, John Garfield was down for the count. He looked up and he saw Lily Palmer, and she inspired him to get up and win the fight. Well, I think you better get Lily Palmer to inspire you. <laughs> Is that the way you want it? No, Rob, it's not the way I want it. I want to go on a picnic. Hey, Rob, I got to talk to you a minute. What's she doing here? So, oh. I'm sorry I didn't mean it like that, Laura, but you know what they say, fighting and dames don't mix. You know something, Saul? You're absolutely right, they don't. Goodbye, Rob. Is that goodbye or so long? Well, I guess that's up to Boom Boom Bailey. Oh. Laura? Oh, see what you did, you... Oh, don't worry about Laura, Rob. She'll come around, they all do. What do you want, Saul? I want to talk to you about the odds on the fight. There's a lot of big money coming in on you. Really? Yes, sir. Why, this morning, the odds were 13 to 1 against you. Now they're down to 11 to 1. I thought it was a favorite. Well, emotionally, yes. Financially, no. 11 to 1? My gosh, they give General Custer better odds than that. Look, Rob, with those odds, all we have to do is put down a couple of bucks. Then, if by some gigantic fluke, you should win. Gigantic fluke? Well, I mean, if you should get lucky. Yeah, don't say another word, so. Why not? You're making me overconfident. <laughs> Two hands, Rob. That's it. Atta, baby. Now let's see a little of the pitter patter okay. in there. A little of the footwork. That's enough. Save it. Your razor sharp up on the table. Now, this is important. I want you to remember this above all. You got this now? Every time Boom Boom goes to throw his right, he drops his shoulder a little. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the next thing that's important is to relax in the ring. I don't want any tensions at all in there. What's the odds? What's the difference? <laughs> they went up again, didn't they? Well, this way we can make a bigger killing. Oh, you've got a wonderful way with words, so... Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, Doc. Oh, God, I'd feel a lot better if Laura was here. Will you forget about Laura and worry about Boom Boom? <laughs> now, here's another thing that's important. I want you to stay out of his reach. But just by chance, if he should tag you, don't worry about it, because you can take his best punch. Oh, no, what a I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, just leave it alone. Come in. Oh, Laura, you did come after all. <laughs> Rob, you're hurt already? No, no, no. Watch your nose, man. Oh, well, uh, Rob, could I speak to you for a few minutes alone? Huh? Oh, sure. I'll see you in the ring, champ. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. It's okay. Oh, honey, am I glad you're here? I'm going to turn. I'm going to win that fight for you. No, don't, don't bother. Rob, there's something I want to say. What? I've got it all figured out, Rob. When you get in that ring, I want you to protect yourself as much as you possibly can. Sure. I want you to stay away from him at all times. Right, and right. when he hits you, I want you to fall down. Right. Huh? What are you saying? I'm saying the first time he hits you, fall down and don't get up. Honey, you're asking me to take a dive. Rob, I don't care what the technical term for it is. Just do it. Oh, this isn't right. The, the gangster's supposed to ask you to take a dive, not your girl. Mom, I, I love you, and I don't want to see you hurt. Well, honey, if, if I took a dive, I couldn't look at myself in the mirror. Rob, if you don't take a dive, you won't be able to look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> Rob, if you just think about it for a minute, you'd see that I'm right. Well, maybe not right, but what's it going to hurt? You know something, Laura? You're no Lily Palmer. <laughs> okay, boom, Peter. I want you to fight clean and protect yourselves at all times. Now shake hands and come out fighting. Told you? Great inspiration you turned out to be. Rob, please. Lay off, Laura. Go get him, Tiger. Yeah. Yeah.
in there. <laughs> Round, champ. Don't worry about it. Not worried. If I could think, I would be. <laughs> hey! Will you cut that out? Only you giving the champ a chill. What again? Go get him, Tiger. Is he? Huh? Get in there. It's not <laughs> a quitter. I love them. Laura's right. Don't take all that punishment, Rob. I thought you were my friends. I am. Take a die. There's not a Lily Palmer among you. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, friends. Thank one heck of a lot. But there's no way you can win, Rob. How about a knockout? Oh, Rob, you haven't even hit him yet. Did you ever think of that? <laughs> we'll see about that. Give me another shot of those salts. Oh. Mm. There you go. Don't you believe me? Oh, sure, we believe you. We also believe in Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. But we don't think you can beat them either. Yes, <laughs> okay, just the way I told you. You knock Boom Boom out, or he let you knock him out. Yeah, is that it? Boom Boom felt sorry for you, so he fell down? Oh, he had a big heart. No, he had a big appendix. I hit him right in his acute appendix. They rushed him to the hospital. No. Oh, what a horrible way to win a fight. Well, I, I didn't exactly win the fight. You know. Wait a minute. You said you knocked him out. I knocked him out, but I lost the fight on a little technicality. What? The appendix is below the belt, remember? Hey, Rod, you know something? What? You're no Lily Palmer. 